Michael and uh, we're here in Martin Place and just giving you a quick update on um, the last 48 hours. Um, we've had a lot of passers by and a lot of well wishes. Um, we, you get the usual cat calls, you know, get a job, you bludger and all that kind of stuff and we have fun um, responding to that. We've um, had a lot of well wishes, uh, as I said, um, and a few notables like um, Kate Fairman, um, Greens MLC, and the presenter for Media Watch after Stuart Littlemore, whose name I just can't remember. He wished us well and took photos and stuff. Um, the, the main thing has been um, the intransigence of the police and um, the way they make difficulties out of nothing and the way they abuse their, their discretion and they come perilously close to breaking the law in my opinion. Um, for instance, um, last night it was okay if we spread out the mats and sleeping bags and slept, but they said there was too many of us. You know, three or four was okay. How dare they make up the number that can, can, um, can stay? Um, you know, if it's all right for three or four, why isn't it all right for three or four hundred? And so that was okay to sleep last night. But tonight's rules are no sleeping, no sleeping bags, no mats, you've got to sit up and no falling asleep. So it's O'Grady says, you know, make it up on the fly as you, as you go along. And so it's a game of cat and mouse and I'm not sure who's the cat and who's the mouse. But um, we've got an action coming up in the High Court and we're really hoping to put the police back in their box properly because this is intolerable. You know, I just feel like moving to North Korea so I get some civil rights back, you know. <laughs> Bloody arseholes. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, they, they come over and um, try, you know, try their threats. Um, you're, you're lying down, um, that's illegal today, and um, if you don't sit up, um, you'll get a, a move on notice, and, and um, if you don't comply with that, then it's off to Surrey Hills Police Station with you. They have a big deal. And um, this is the extraordinary position where the New South Wales Police have taken it on themselves to enforce council regulations without reference to the council. The council doesn't want the regulations enforced particularly, and the police don't enforce those regulations against the homeless. They pick on us, even though we're doing much the same thing, just hanging around. Um, so it's obviously political, they deny that, but um, you know, we're not putting up with it, we're fighting back and um, we, we believe we have the police worried because we engaged um, a very well-known barrister, Stuart Littlemore, and a well-known firm of solicitors called Marsdens, and that's um, settled them down to some, to some degree. But we really won't get the satisfaction until we take them to the High Court and fight them on constitutional grounds. That's, that's my opinion. <laughs>